you like these videos and you wanna see them a day before they go up on YouTube, head over to Library. It's an awesome decentralized alternative to YouTube and I absolutely love it. Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Epic Games fanboy, Gardner. And no, I'm not really an Epic Games fanboy, but I am an Unreal Tournament fanboy. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, so there's a team called Old Unreal, uh, and they have reached an agreement with Epic Games to maintain the original Unreal Tournament to create uh, updates, fixes, patches. Uh, and you know what? Uh, we're going to try it out here. This is the first time I've ever tried it out. Now, a couple of days ago, I believe this was, this is August 8th. I think there's a newer one than this. But I mean, just look at this. Look at this. Look at how many fixes and things and new features that they added to Unreal Tournament. Holy moly. Holy moly. That's really cool. So, we're going to go right over here. Uh, this is old Unreal, Unreal uh, Tournament patches. And we'll scroll down here to release pages. And then we're going to download the Linux tar. Uh, let's just uh, save that, I guess. Now, I'm not 100% certain how... Wow, that's downloading really slowly. I'm not 100% certain how uh, we actually install this, so we're going to walk through this together. But uh, it shouldn't be that difficult. I have the game both on Steam and on GOG. Check our readme for instructions. Let's do that. Installation. This repository contains development snapshots uh, as well as official releases. Let's read about official releases. Our official patch releases can be found in the on the releases page. If you are a regular player or if you want to play online, then please use official releases only. Our official Windows and Linux releases are distributed as file archives. They are meant to be unpacked on top of an existing installation of Unreal Tournament. If you want to test out our patches but maintain the possibility of uninstalling them, we strongly urge you to create a backup of your entire UT folder before installing the patch. Interesting. Uh, how does one install a native Linux version? We're going to install Lutris in order to do this, because I, I bet you there's an installer script on Lutris. So if I, I probably can just extract this over top of the Lutris install of the game, even if it's the Windows version, and it should uh, boot up, I would imagine. The weird thing is that the code for uh, Unreal Tournament patches... Uh, there's no like license data in the licenses here, so it's probably like owned by Epic Games, I would imagine, because I've looked through the license stuff here, and it's all it's like all open source licenses, um, and for like the open source projects that they were relying on. So I don't know. Come on, you're taking forever, dude. So. <sighs> Yeah, it was the Wi-Fi that was causing it to go slowly. I'm using a very old router. Um, but at least I'm getting a, a gigabit connection through a wired connection, which I had to run. <laughs> I had to run it from over there on the switch to over here on the on the machine. On the Thaleo. This is a System76 Thaleo, by the way. See, that's what the speed is supposed to be right there. I had to plug it in over, the LAN, uh, over a, uh, a Cat5. Dang. See, that's fast. 11 megabits per second. Uh, that's 11 megabytes per second. Like, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's fiber to the home, baby. That's what you can get here. I could get I could get faster, but uh, it would cost significantly more. So we're not going to do that. Let's go to home games. Games. Unreal Tournament. C. G. O. G game of the year all right and then let's drop all that in here replace all okay now if we go to system and go to ut dot bin run Hey, there we go. We've got it working now. Uh, I don't have any sound. All right. So let's let's check preferences. Color depth, 32-bit, world detail, high. Um, and let's make sure that we're running in full screen. 
Alt enter. Alt enter should set the yes. Okay, 1080p. So Alt enter will enable full screen, and then you can uh, let's oof. Thank you. So we're not getting audio. So the problem must be in one of the config settings. All right, so it says if I'm not having it audio, I can try doing this. Um, yes. All right, now we can actually play some Unreal Tournament. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I do really like Unreal Tournament. Oh, my goodness. Um, spaces jump. Do you remember when there was mouse look? <laughs> uh, move forward. Let's do W. Backwards, D, or S. Left and right. Jump and space. I don't understand. It was up, down, left, and right keys. And then control and space were to jump. What the hell? Like, what kind of crazy that doesn't make any sense so what some of the stuff that they've added is they've actually added high dpi support uh so you can actually scale uh the size of your crosshair um it'll detect um that you can you can scale things up beyond uh, the maximum now or the old maximum let's start a practice session and let's go to oh Let's just do a, a death match and and do it on Mobius, Morpheus, and then let's add. Uh, wow, there's a bunch of copied. Okay, uh, low gravity, Flack Arena, Insta Gib. Yeah, Insta Gibs are fun. All right, this is gonna be absolute chaos. Boss uh, bots. Let's do, let's do eight bots. <laughs> Average skill start. Oh my gosh! This is this is uh, Unreal Tournament running natively on my machine on Linux. That makes me so happy. If I go to uh, pre player preferences, uh, it also said that there's a uh, now um, clipboard support and Unicode support. So if I were to f hypothetically no, that didn't work. I tried pasting a, uh, a penguin uh, emoji. That did not work. Oh, well. Okay. Let's, uh, let's play some Unreal Tournament, guys. Oh, yeah. Oof. Taken out. I just slaughtered that guy. Frickin' A, dude. I need to get back into the, uh... Oh. Oh, I, re I just realized there's there isn't, uh... Wow, dude. Lork is gonna pay. There's no, uh, extra jumping. Oof. Eat it, Lork. Eat it. What the hell? How am I sucking so hard? Wow, I suck so bad. Alright, I think Loke has uh, gained sentience. And he's re taking revenge. Lork, Lork needs to be put in his place, guys. Or is it Locke? Dude, dude, how come I can't kill? Eat it, dude. I ended his killing spree, too. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yes. Dang. But what a great freaking game, huh? What a great game. Uh... 
I'm really glad that we uh, got to do this together. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm probably going to end up playing uh, Unreal Tournament with some people online later. So uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, at Gardner Bryant. Gardner underscore Bryant, I think. Um, I changed the name because people were giving me grief. Um, you can also ha head over to Discord. I'm trying to like be more active on my Discord. Uh, there's a link in the description. I want to say thank you to Webfreak and the 108 amazing people over on Patreon who make this show possible. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. If you believe in what I do here and you'd like to help the show out, head over to Patreon. It makes a huge difference. Well, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've had fun doing this, even though uh, the Wi-Fi was really slow and I couldn't get anything figured out. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you guys being here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now, and have a blessed day.